Wow. Woo! Worth it. Oh my gosh. There. He was right there. He was just right over the top. Was he? Yeah, I wouldn't linger up here really a, a long time. He was big. All right, thanks for the warning. Okay. I say, I say, son, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. What's up, Ron? I just made it up. Well, not the quote, but the I say, I say, son, is from Looney Tunes. Oh, that, Looney Tunes? No, the chicken. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> You guys remember. Comment and tell me his name. I say, I say, son. And then the quote was from, I don't know, some old Native American proverb. Trail still heading up. We gotta earn the views at the top. So we are a little more than halfway. Top of Gregory. Bald. Uh, and you guys know what a bald is. It's just kind of like a an open field, kind of at top of a mountain. And this is one I think of two balds maintained by the National Park System here in the Smoky Mountains. Oh, maybe I'm making that up. I'll go ahead and, and check and let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure it's like one of two in this area. I think the other one is Parson Bald. That's just like south uh, west of here. So, Sweating, but we got water and we got the trail. Dear diary, it's day two and Josh is starting to crack. All he talks about now is food, barbecue, and what else, Josh? Work. Work, kinda. <laughs> Taking off of work, maybe. But we're all looking forward to what we'll earn after this trek up. At this point in the hike, Day two, we have what we would consider a pungent aroma wafting. What we're really smelling is ourselves. <laughs> and it smells awesome. Just for me, I, I, I sense just a little bit of musk and maybe some cinnamon is Possibly. what I'm guessing. Possibly cinnamon. Nutmeg maybe. Nutmeg? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nutmeg. But, Oh, it's delightful. Thank, thank goodness I put on a new shirt. Um, my old shirt I've kept away from my sleep clothes just to make sure it doesn't smell awful. One thing's been really awesome about this trail is how often the trail changes in terms of geography and plant life around. So here we had definitely had a lot of ferns, a lot of woodland. It's a warm day and the wind is just kind of whipping through here and it feels really good. Doesn't it, Josh? It feels amazing. <laughs> this is so cool in here. The perfect place for a bear ambush. There are a few places we could have gotten water um, on the way up here, but they weren't anywhere near as good as that first water source um, coming on Gregory Ball Trail. The other places you'd have to scoop water, <laughs> bug, scoop water that was standing, and with all this horse activity, I'm not a fan of filtering even that water so thank god for that water source still climbing it's 
So we're making it, we're really close. This campsite tells you how close you are. So this is campsite 13. I was staying here um, when I was planning the trip, but it was closed because of bears and bear activity. A lot of closures on this uh, trail, which kind of made it hard to plan. You can see the bear cables, maybe you can, in the background, right about, oops, there. And uh, coming up on the sign now. So, and the sign says, we're on the Gregory Bald Trail, so we have gone four miles today so far. Only half a mile more for Gregory Bald. And the Appalachian Trail does run pretty close to here. Um, and Gregory Ridge Trail is where we're gonna have to get on to get back to our uh, campsite this afternoon. I'm hoping that we'll be our campsite by hmm, dinner time, five or six, maybe. We'll see how, uh, how well we do and how much pace we keep. But we just came off of, see, so there's another bald, Parson bald. That goes that way, but we're not going that way. And uh, Gregory Bald Trail is that way. And someone marked that there is water on that trail. Maybe there's not, they're coming from somewhere else. So that's actually pretty helpful, but it kind of erased uh, how many miles. So it's a half a mile more to go. After hiking up quite a bit, there's kind of a split off trail. I'll show you. So I mean, it keeps going up there, but there's also that side trail right there. So I'm gonna leave my pack and tracking poles for Josh to see. We're going to just check out this little side trail and see what there is. Cool, the flowers are blooming. There's dead ends, but it is really cool to see all these uh, azaleas in bloom. It's like someone started a campfire here. Stopping, we're, we're almost at the top. It smells awesome. Lots of bees, lots of wildflowers, and uh, flowers smell great. Like the whole, whole top up here just smells sweet. Stop for a little bit of a break because the ascent is significant when we went up here. So I can see leveling off and I can see nothing but blue sky up ahead. So I've been looking forward to this for two days. So we'll see what we see and we'll see it together. like just around the corner. That's so why I keep telling myself last mile, just around the corner. Oh, that smells awesome. Wow. Woo! Worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a look at this, guys. Let me turn it around so you can see what I see. Smokies! Oh my gosh. <sighs> so, U.S. Geological Survey.
Wow. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll turn you guys around. Oh my gosh, this is so worth it. It's just amazing. It's amazing. That view. That view is just awesome. It really is. Man. We are going to stop and get some lunch. Find the trail again. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Especially because of the bulbs, because it's just so grassy, and I'm assuming not many people come up here. I don't know why, but I mean, we just saw one family of three, and then maybe five other people, and that was it. But it's pretty awesome. We're gonna find a shady spot. Joshua, he's gonna set up his hammock, and we are going to have some lunch. Bacon. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm wondering if it's that same bear. I'm not too afraid of black bears. It's the no, grizzlies no. you gotta worry about. Yeah. I agree. And mountain lions. Oh, yeah. When I, the first day I was in Wyoming, I was like, I'm gonna get killed by a mountain lion here. Nice. And after like a week of being there, I'm like, eh, it's not a big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drag me down if I die. Don't worry. The bears will get me. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to disturb anyone um, but right here at you know top of the Gregory Bald and the views are amazing and uh, there's like maybe 10 people up here and we're just hanging out in the kind of shaded area and having a good time talking chatting yeah it does was right over the top was he yeah I wouldn't linger up here really a, a long time he's okay eating, he's eating the blackberries okay up here all right i'd be careful going off the trail too okay yeah we're headed i'm headed that way did you come this from up here no i came from down that way okay he was big all right thanks for the warning Howdy.